Hello, I'm Matt Goldstein, Director of University Health Services. And I'm Allison Rohrbach, Associate Director of University Health Services. University Health Services includes three areas on campus. The Health Center Clinical Services, the Campus Community Public Health, and Health Education and Promotion. The Health Center provides many services to students, including things like common illness and injuries, colds, flus, sore throats, lab services, immunization and TB testing, women's health services, and many more. We want your student to use the Towson University Health Center as their primary care while they're here at Towson. We are staffed by seven providers in the health center, including two physicians, physician assistants, and a nurse practitioner. For making appointments, First, we are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. If students have concerns after hours, they can call our Nurse Advice Line at 410-704-2466. The most popular way to make an appointment is online. Students like to make appointments through our secure web portal at tigerhealth.towson.edu. The other way they can make an appointment is through, phone, is through calling us on the phone at 410-704-2466 during business hours. Walk-ins are also accepted based upon availability, but scheduled appointments are always preferred. As far as payment and insurance, we accept most major insurance plans. Students will use their health insurance when they come to see us at the health center. So it's important that students have a copy of their health insurance card with them when they come to campus. Copays are billed after a visit to the student's bursar account or to their TU1 card. You will not be automatically signed up for the health insurance through the university because Towson University does not have a hard waiver. So if you would like to purchase the health insurance that we do provide through Towson University, you can visit aetnastudenthealth.com and pick Towson University from the drop down menu to see what is covered and for payment. This map shows that there are many local services near Towson University including two major hospitals, St. Joseph's Medical Center and Greater Baltimore Medical Center, GBMC. The public health of our campus is of utmost importance. All students are required to have certain immunization requirements as well as complete a tuberculosis risk screening questionnaire. All students are required to have two MMRs, the mumps, measles, or rubella vaccine after their first birthday as well as the Tdap. And what we're looking for in the Tdap is the adult version of the pertussis vaccine. All students living on campus are required to have the meningococcal A and we recommend the B as well. All students are also required to complete a tuberculosis risk screening questionnaire. This is not a tuberculosis test, but rather we are risk stratifying who is at higher risk of contracting tuberculosis and that is through screening through a questionnaire. These requirements need to be completed by August 25th. Any student who is not in compliance is subject to a $35 fine and a registration hold for the next semester. So how do you upload your immunizations? We recommend you first gather your immunization record. We do have a form that you could bring to your primary care office. However, we do not require you to use our form. You could use any documentation that's in English and is legible. This could include copies of a medical record, a printout from electronic medical record. This could be the little passport book of immunizations that's handwritten. After you've gathered those documents, you are then going to go to Towson University's Health Center's website and you're going to click on the banner that says click here to complete immunization requirements. You're going to log in using your TU username and password, enter your date of birth, and that will take you to your to-do list of the two requirements that you need to complete. Number one, the immunization history and number two, the tuberculosis exposure risk screening questionnaire. So first click on the immunization history you're going to enter the dates of those immunizations. So two dates for the MMR, one for the Tdap, and one for 
the meningococcal A. If you need to satisfy your MMR requirement through a titer, meaning a blood test, we have to enter that information for you. After you enter the dates, you're going to upload a copy of your source document so that we can reconcile later if the dates you think you received what vaccine that we agree. Then hit submit final and move to the next requirement, which is a tuberculosis exposure risk screening questionnaire. Again, you just have to answer some very simple questions. Were you born in a high-risk country or lived for a prolonged period of time in a high-risk country? Or did you work in a high-risk environment such as a nursing home? And some other very brief questions. After you completed that, if the answer is no to all the above, you could submit final and no other requirement is necessary. If you answered yes, submit final and contact the health center to determine what course of testing is recommended for you. We also have the ability on our health portal for you to upload a copy of the front and back of your insurance card. And that way, if you come to the health center and don't have your insurance card with you, we will have it on file. Your privacy is very important to us. All medical information for an adult remains private to that adult. And an adult is anyone over the age of 18 years old. Students can grant permission to share medical information, but this is episodically. Due to the nature of healthcare, you might not want to share your information about a specific appointment. So we do not allow a Towson University four-year all-inclusive permission to share medical information. This needs to be done episodically. In emergency situations, we know, have to know who we should contact as well. Please make sure that an emergency contact number other than the student is in the Towson University registration system. Please respect your student's privacy. So finally, this is the information for the leadership at Towson University, University Health Services. So this is our direct phone numbers, our email addresses. Um, if you have questions, concerns about your student, about anything related to um, the health center and what we can provide, please do not hesitate to contact us. We also have our phone number, our social media, um, all the ways that you can get in contact with us because we want your students' experience here uh, to be the best it can be. So thank you very much and welcome to Towson University.